Welcome to the headliner. This is Brett Waltemath of Starwatch Media welcoming you to the 2010 Los Angeles Film Festival. Pleasure to meet you. Nice Tell meet us you. a little bit about Harlem Children's Zone and just your involvement in it, how long you've been a part of it, and just sure. a little bit about it. Well, you know, the, the Harlem Children's Zone project started 11 years ago, but I've been at this agency for 27 years. But what we've done is we've carved out a 27 block area that has 10,000 children, and we've said we're going to save all of the children. So we run our own schools, we've got uh, support the other public schools, we've got great health services and dental health services and mental health services. And the idea is to provide children with all they need so that they can be successful and that's what we're doing at the Harlem Children's Zone. Now what's it like um, trying to support that many thousands of children all part of one organization? Well you know, uh, we think that one of the things that we've got to do in this country is scale. That, that we're losing children by the tens of thousands and we're saving them by the hundreds. And so it just doesn't work. We've got to figure out how to impact a greater number of children in a really positive way if we're really going to make a dent in this problem, which is what we're doing right now. Now, have you gotten a lot of children that have grown up coming, having come through your organization and come back to help your... Yeah, it's, help really, it's really one of the great things about the work I do. Is I've been in the same job for 27 years, and uh, we have a significant number of kids who have gone to college, they come back, they work inside the program. A number of kids who have gone to college, and I just see them walking around through Harlem with their own children. And you realize every time you get someone in college, you've really changed the trajectory for that next generation. Because their children are probably going to go to college. So uh, for those of us, because we've been in the same community for so long, we constantly are reminded that success, while it takes hard work, is infinitely doable. Now, President Obama has gone on and said that he has a lot of interest in taking your organization and really uh, pursuing it at a national scale. Can you comment on that a little bit for us? Well, I, I was very excited to see that the president has said that he's going to create what he calls promised neighborhoods based on our model of the Harlem Children's Zone. Uh, he's put a couple of hundred million dollars in the Department of Education to support this. So we are absolutely thrilled. We think this is exactly what needs to happen. Uh, there are communities like Harlem all over America where children have failed for generations. Uh, and we need to step up and say no more. Let's draw a line in the sand and make sure that we help these kids succeed. Now as far as our uh, nationwide public education system, what do you feel is the goal? What do you think are the first steps towards bettering our education system here? Well, the first thing I think we have to do is that we've got to realize that if the system's not working, it's the adult's fault. Uh, yes, our kids are often poor. Yes, sometimes they come from troubled homes and tough communities that have gangs. But those of us who get paid to educate these kids, we are the ones that have to be held accountable and we have to change. And if it means running school longer, we run school longer. If it means working on Saturdays, you work on Saturdays. If it means working in the summer, you work in the summer. The one thing we can't do is let these kids fail. So do you really believe that the blame goes more on our teachers and our professors for not going that extra step for these students? I think there's plenty of blame to go around, uh, but what where we have allowed adults to accept failure, meaning that you know your children are failing, and you go home in June and don't show up again till September, I think that's a system that has failed children for 40, 50 years, and it's one of the things we have to look at. Now, before you were involved in this organization, were you always involved in education from early on in your career? I started my career back in 75 teaching uh, and have been involved with schools and after schools uh, for all of my career. Now let's talk a little bit about Waiting for Superman. I assume you're very excited to see it. As far as documentaries dealing with, and films in general dealing with this very trying subject, do you feel that more needs to be done about it, that there's already a sufficient amount of press being given to this tough subject? Well, the one thing that I'm excited about Waiting for Superman is Davis Guggenheim is a, uh, you know, Oscar winning uh, uh, filmmaker. I think that uh, when he does a film, people take it seriously. I think this is a film that we want people to take seriously. We're hoping that people will see this film all over the country and realize that the problem isn't a local problem, even though we experience it locally. It's really a national problem and it's going to call for us doing some major thinking and changing about the way we are, uh, I think, structure education in this country.
Now, as far as your organiza organization, are you looking to expand it past Harlem or no, really just stay central with that? Well, we're not, no. We, we are uh, going to stay in our 97 blocks and we're not going anyplace else. Uh, we think that what we have to do is make sure that our organization is there for the children that are just being born. Uh, who are going to need us for the next 25 years, so that's what we're working on. Well, you're part of a wonderful organization. We congratulate you on your work, and you're doing a wonderful job for these children. Thank you so we much. thank you very much, and have a wonderful time at the premiere. Appreciate it. Thank you.